So we don't do no introduction. We just go right in, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 no. I still can't believe you ever seen the first one, though. Oh my god, the first one was great. And Danny McBride is the one that wrote it. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, you've seen the original Halloweens. Just not the future version of Halloween. Yeah. And he that played bad. Shrek. <laughs> that looked bad. Say what? And he played Shrek. <laughs> this is Mike Myers. <laughs> no, the killer dude from Halloween. Oh, you mean Jason. My grandmother was right. The boogeyman was real. It's over. You can't hurt anyone ever again. No one told you. Told me what? Somebody in there? Michael Myers is alive. <laughs> he can't die. You had a knife in your stomach. You and Allison should not have to keep running. Evil dies tonight. You didn't say that like every movie. I'm not yeah, you guys can't kill him. Person died. If you track Michael's victims, I love the music. That's a straight line to mm -hmm. childhood home. That Those theme song is iconic. Yep. Those masks remind me of Halloween 3. Send him down. You ever seen it? Season of the Witch? Michael no, it's not about um, Michael Myers. Yeah, Season of the Witch is when they try to do like the anthology. Oh yeah. The more he kills, and then it fails. Yep. Run! No, no. He's the essence of evil. True lies. Jamie Lee Curtis was so hot and true lies in that one scene. Yeah, she's trying to strip for uh, Ooh, that body. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Come and get it. I'm coming for you, Michael. All right, what do you think? I I want to watch it, no matter what. I mean, it's it's Halloween Kills. But I you still didn't even, you didn't even watch the first one. Yeah, I still didn't watch the first one. I mean, that's the, the that's first the thing. one was. Um, bro, there was there was a shot. There was a. Scene. But technically, it's not the first one because that one was. A, I'm talking a, about a the future. I'm talking was, about the okay, fine. The sequel, Halloween Two, the 2000. Uh, yeah, because it went it, it went Halloween, and then they started creating the the franchise of Halloween. Yeah. Which I hate, honestly, I hate when movies do that. They want to do a sequel, so they just call it. By the first movie. Yeah. Well, they did bring Mike uh, Michael Myers for the second one. Are we talking about the old one? Yeah, the old, old one. And oh, yeah, then yeah, the yeah. third one was about something else. Because the second, else, one, the second one was supposed to be like the, the end. Michael yeah. Myers was supposed to be dead. And then the third one was like, okay, what we're going to do is each Halloween going to be a different story. Yeah. But I heard number three is actually not bad. I, I actually enjoyed it. it. It's very creepy. Like the, the I, I can barely remember it, but I remember enjoying it. It was just like, ugh. Okay, so I might have to it's, check. It's more, it's more nasty than it is just. So should I watch it? Should I check horrifying? it out? Yeah, it's worth watching. Okay, it's it, worth watching. It's like just know that it's not a Michael Myers movie. It's yeah, not, it's, not, it's not canon. It has nothing to do with it at all. Yeah, because the thing is, it's like I think that's why it failed because everyone had this idea that Halloween is about. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, it gave us about Shrek, and it, I mean, it, it gave us two movies of them. Yeah, you know? and then they started doing like, oh, every Halloween we're gonna get something different, which honestly I think would be cool. It would have been cool if they would have established that from the beginning. Yep. Without creating Halloween two, it, it just, yeah, yeah, that's where they messed up at yep. Halloween two. But uh, but I do like how they basically created Halloween, and it, it's just called Halloween, right? Yep. The sequel just to Halloween. the first Halloween. It's the sequel to, and it's because it's got Jamie oh. Lee Curtis again. What's another movie that did? I know they're doing that with Scream. The mm -hmm. new Scream is going to be called Scream. Yeah, it, I it, well they did it with um crap. What's it? What is it? What is it? They was in the, it's a they do that with horror movies I all know, the time. I'm trying to figure it out that, too. Oh, when the ice in the uh, uh, the Alaska, not Alaska, but it was oh, the, the thing. The thing. Yes. Yep. yep. They did it with the, the thing. The first one was the thing, and the and prequel then, was the thing. Yeah, they so, called yep. it the exact same thing, and uh, it's just like uh, it's like yeah. It's it so confusing when you're trying to talk to someone mm -hmm. about a movie, and it's just like I've seen it. It's just like no, 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 no. The new one. It's just like I've seen Halloween. I've seen I've yeah. seen the thing. I, they do it all the time, and it's just like. Okay, how do I how do I do this? Are they going to start putting yeah. dates, or do we need to add the dates to the movies? That's what I've been doing. Because, like, the, the, the new one um, that they released, it's, so the second one is completely scrapped. It's only yep. Halloween and Halloween. 
And basically, at the end of uh, the original Halloween, Michael Myers is captured. So basically, he's been in, in, in that asylum for 30 straight years. And then, of course, he escapes. And yeah, but there's like a shot where... It, Who's playing Michael Myers? I think it's uh well you have the original you have the original for like a couple yeah. shots and then i don't know who's playing them now i forgot but there's like a shot where he's in town during halloween of course kids trick-or-treating and really legit following him to each house as he kill a different person so you just watch him you follow him he goes into it like you would transition to this person next thing you know chick is washing dishes you see michael myers just walk past boom kill this person now all of a sudden y'all transition to the next person this woman she's closing her blinds and you just see michael myers yeah. walking behind her and then boom the kills in that movie are so intense bro like it's but, a great movie but one thing i gotta say seeing that trailer is mm -hmm. if you learned anything from uh roshak wanting his face back you do not touch michael myers Dude, face he might start running <laughs> Yeah, because that's going to happen. He's going to be tearing that girl hey, apart. He's he, going to take her head hey, for he, that. He's going to take. He gonna go back in the house, take off the boots, put on some Nikes, and just start... <laughs> <laughs> Give me my mask. Give me my mask. <laughs> Give God. it back. But uh, but he walks pretty fast. He gets across the grounds that, very uh, quickly. That, open, uh, that opening shot, though, with him walking out the fire looked trash, though. Yeah. Like yeah the, the, was... It looked bad. <laughs> it looked too funny, but... Uh, the fact that he just went out and just killed all those firefighters. Dude had this yeah, saw. Let it burn. I'm like, I guess bro. that's how the first one ends. Yeah, they, they set him up. Uh, her house was a trap. Okay. That was basically her, her whole house was straight up a, a trap. And he got caught in it. And the house was supposed to be caught on fire. But, of course, they went well, and he, saved. Yeah, it, yeah, it, ended, it ended with them in a the truck as the car, as the house was on fire. Okay. So the so fact that they're picking up exactly there. right after that's That's great. actually good. I like it when they do that. It gives you like a right mm -hmm. instant continuation. Because they basically, uh, they basically did that with the first, the original first two. It picks up exactly where the last one left off at. Yep. Same thing with The Quiet Place. They pick The sequel picks up exactly where the last one left yeah, off you gotta at. gotta watch it. So it's like movies like that, you can do a double feature and be fine. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's... Not uh, even a double feature. Like if they wanted to, they can just take off the end credits. Boom, put it together. Well, one thing I like is when they actually shoot all the movies at once. Back like, to back, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it took them three years to shoot all the Lord of the Rings. They were and then they released one a year because they edited them. And they're talking about doing that with the, the next two Fast movies. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. You Same have the entire Matrix. crew just get it out of the way. I am curious on how the end Matrix is going to be about because they literally ended it perfectly with the Matrix being repaired, mm -hmm. the world's in peace. Uh, Neo sacrificed himself. Is this? There's, no, there's never going to be peace. Because they introduced the fact that there were multiple Neos. The fact that there were, yeah. Remember when he's talking to the architect, and he was basically mentioning how there's multiple Neos. That's why when you remember when there were all those mirrors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, those yeah. screens. Yeah. That was all basically a different version of Neo in how they would react in a different way. Oh, okay. So yeah. is this going to be a completely different? version of neo in another fractured time is he, neo's probably john wick is it is it going to be more of a future version of neo where he wasn't needed till he was older we'll see or is did morpheus not find him till he was or, older because morpheus is not even in the movie uh, okay then it, that's, that's the thing it's just like we got we have neil patrick harris though he's gonna be in the movie okay good when, but no morpheus he better be very persuasive see, see morpheus is actually actually <gasps> Bro, what if they actually did connect John Wick and the Matrix? Because you think about it, Morpheus is now the the Bowery King, the homeless one, mm -hmm. and he's there to get John Wick Neo out of the Matrix. They ain't gonna do that. Well, I mean, they were they were supposed to come out the same day. They weren't gonna. They ain't gonna do that. Imagine that. Well, remember they replaced the writer. Yeah. The only good writer they the had. writer with the writer of the Matrix Four. No. Nah. How how awesome would that have been? Yeah, because they had an amazing writer. They replaced him. And he's like the only writer that actually did the good episodes of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. What does this have to do with Halloween? I just caught myself. I'm like, wait a minute. We're talking about Matrix. Wait. John Wick. Who cares, dude? <laughs> Who cares? Oh, my but, God. Yeah, th that's the thing. It's just like he is an amazing writer. And they replaced him or got rid of him. Did he cost too much? Did he demand more money? Because if that's the case, I'd pay the dude. Obviously, he's worth it, and he's create. He, he he's the one who's creating this world. He planned it out. It's his child, and you're giving it to someone else who doesn't even know what to do with it. So a John Wick podcast coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> now that I see you talking about, it, I'm like, hey, we might as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, yeah. Oh, Halloween. They're, they're also automatically going to be another Halloween. Uh, 
Of course. Yeah, because Halloween, Halloween kills and Halloween ends is going to be the last one. Okay. So my question, so I'm, that's why I say I feel like Jamie Lee Curtis might die in this one for sure. Because it's like, I don't know, they're making her like, you know, oh, it, it's going to end tonight. You can't keep saying that for all three movies. I'm sorry. If you keep saying that, you got to die I in think, this one. I think uh, everyone should end, uh, should die. Isn't like Jamie Lee Curtis, everyone who basically set him up should die. I think that would actually be cool where it seems like he's actually winning until something actually more because there has because to be someone better out there who knows about him and wants so to take him out. Because the, the people that trap him is, OK, it's Lori and then her daughter and then her granddaughter. That's all three that he's going yep. after. So, damn, kill all three of them. Yeah, because they're all his family, right? Yeah. That's that's the thing. It's just like he wants to take out his family. I forgot to, I forgot his history. I need to rewatch all the Halloweens. I freaking I freaking did like those movies. Okay, I enjoy. I'm, okay, so be this. I really did enjoy foreign. Uh, okay, I really did enjoy for the return of Michael Myers with Jamie. But then when they start doing that, oh yeah, he has a he's like a demon or something. They start yeah, doing that like was a, crap. Yeah, I like I like where he was kind of like mentally disturbed and he like hated his father for some reason and the Are, therapist oh, you're who was talking, talking about to him. uh you're talking about the remake yeah which the remake was like actually that. good that was very well done yeah. it was just like okay i like this version of it, him. Was, it was basically the same movie but you actually yep. get a backstory and the backstory can still make him seem like this is why he's a killer yeah because he was like sitting there next to like some dead animals that he killed mm -hmm. just sitting there as the therapist talked to him and it was it was creepy. It was cringing. It was just like, okay, this is this is a good establishing shot right mm -hmm. here for. And they gave us a, sorry. They gave us a good uh, uh, Doctor Loomis too. Michael Mc, uh, McDow yep. Michael McDowell. He did a good uh, Doctor. And then the, yep. the fact that in the second one he used that to get fame and money. I was like, wow. Like in the other one, the other one he was just like, no, I'm going to kill Michael. I'm a, I'm going on a cross country road trip. To, yep. Hey kids, can y'all give me a ride? I gotta go kill Michael Myers. It's like, yo, this one it was kind of like a, a douche in the second one. Like he was just like, I don't know, I'm using this for the fame and the money and all yep. that. But the sec, did you see the second one though? Yeah, it was crap. Yeah, it was crap. That's that's the thing. It's just like that. I think was actually the start of the fall of the Halloween anthologies because three wasn't that bad, but everyone expected it to be Michael Myers mm -hmm. and two was crap. So you didn't like two? No, what I mean is like the oh the, the, the remake. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that is just like I, I would have preferred. You see, you see how these titles get. get yeah, it gets very confusing. Like, you didn't like two. You just. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. remake of two. Five. Uh, f oh, and then five was the which one? You had the return of Michael Myers, the revenge of Michael Myers, which was number five, and then you had the one with Ant Man, Paul Rudd, the curse of Michael Myers, mm -hmm. which was actually one, back in the day was one of my favorites, and I didn't know it took me until I was older. I'm like, Paul Rudd was in this movie. What? Because they, they were actually talking about bringing Paul Rudd back. Yeah. Because they're gonna have the oh, I, I like Paul Rudd. So did you see Anthony Michael Hall, the you know from Weird Science? Okay, that's who he's playing. He's playing. I think he's playing Tommy O'Doyle. Oh, okay. So okay, but I'm like, well, look at Paul. <laughs> Paul Rudd is like fifty something, bro. He still looks great. I'm like. Bring bring Paul Rudd for yeah, the role. He, he still looks young. He can play young. Like mm -hmm. oh, yeah, every role is just like mm, he he could play a thirty year old. Yeah. He could play a forty. I'm pretty sure in, in, in the Ant Man. It's movies, not like Jason not Statham where he looks his age. He he can play a younger role. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in in the Ant Man movies, uh, his character is like thirty something. I know he's not fifty. Uh. I'm not entirely sure what their age or they're going for. I mean, yeah. his daughter's... It, it ain't, yeah. Well, it, in the comic books, Ant-Man is actually a misogynistic prick who well, beats heard, his yeah. wife and things uh, like yeah. that. Uh, but that was Hank Pym, though, right? Yeah, Hank yeah, Pym. Yeah, that's probably why they said, we're, yeah. we're going to go for Scott Lang. Yeah, Scott Lang, the, the one who basically stole yeah. the suit and became Ant-Man. Yeah, that kind of... It's just like, that makes, makes more sense. sense. Yeah. And they just have Hank Pym there and his wife is gone because she wanted to run oh, away from the beatings. Yeah, and now she's back. <laughs> She's back to get With the beating. With powers. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, go ahead. I dare you. Yeah. I, I double dare you. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, it was it was the 70s, dear. Did you ever see Jeepers Creepers? <laughs> I'd have to ask. You never know. Of course. I never. You never know. Of course. Yeah. Because that's the thing. It's just like those those classic horror scary movies. That the best. movie was scary. That, that, every time I hear best. that, every time I hear that song, bro. Yeah. Um. Uh. How about uh? What is it? What is it? What is it? The the. Hold on. Hold on. Did you see number three? Leprechaun. Which one? The first one. Yeah, I saw that one. That one was with, with great. Jennifer Anderson. Mm -hmm. What about what about Leprechaun in the Hood? 
<laughs> I, did, I did not see that one. Oh my god, he, I think he, he went to the wait, wait, twice. Wait, wait, isn't that one the, the third one? What what number was it? Cause I, I, I saw one, two, you got, three. Because it got stupid because after the... And four. It gets it gets dumber and dumber they as they Leprechaun continue. in the hood, back to the hood, and Leprechaun in space. <laughs> Ooh, uh, those yeah, leprechaun, leprechaun movies. Is, I think that was four. Well, leprechaun in like, space. It, it's they started out creepy because that leprechaun was scary. Absolutely, it was scary. Scary, and then especially all of when a sudden, he ate, when the fat dude ate the corn, he was like, "Oh, I'm not gonna go through your stomach." I was like, "No," mm-hmm. it was it was scary. Yeah, and then they got weird, bro. Very cause, weird. Because this was funny. Uh, <laughs> leprechaun in the hood. <laughs> He, they had him smoking weed. Yeah. And then they was like, where's my coin? He's like, you know what? I bought some weed and I smoked it all. I was like, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> we should we should, do, we should watch that, bro. I'm watching it. I'm watching oh, that. Oh, great movies. I'm going to get high and watch Leprechaun in the Hood. Great movies. Those freaking I'm watching Leprechaun Lepre- movies. I'm buying my app back. I'm watching Leprechaun in the Hood. Well, you have money. Homie, you can even, buy it. Because even Ice-T was in it and he had his big afro and he kept pulling weapons out of his afro. <laughs> Uh, those leprechaun movies. All right, it's one forty nine. The movie's yep. gonna be Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Th- thank hey, you all for watching. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, check out Leprechaun in the Hood, Back to the Hood, and in Space. And um, Halloween looks good. Can't wait to see it. And um, as always, we'll see y'all next time. Check out our YouTube videos, Big Daddy Mo, L Scribbler, and uh, thank you. Peace. Toodles. Leprechaun in the Hood. Leprechaun. Creepy. Bro. Creepy. Bro. Yeah. They get funny. Yeah. Actually, they get very funny. It is funny. Which one? Which one was it when you went to like Vegas? I think that was three. Okay, that that sounds right. That sounds right. Yeah, because they they because he started out in the country. That was the first movie where he was in the country. Yeah.